to the World Cup where Team USA is taking on Iran for this monumental match. Once again, a, the biggest match that we've seen so far. <laughs> They're hoping to advance into the next round in the tournament. And you can watch it starting at 1 o'clock this afternoon on Fox 26. Now, we have Stu Holden, who has a background and a career in professional soccer. You wouldn't know it with the suit and tie, my Ooh. friend, but including right here in Houston with the Dynamo. So, good morning. I want to ask you, with two draws, for Team USA against England, against Wales. What have you seen that they need to work on or that puts them ahead? Good morning. Well, first of all, good morning, H-Town. I know my mom's watching, so good morning to her in Houston, Texas as well. It's uh, lovely to be here. Good afternoon, good morning. But look, this United States team came into this tournament as just the second youngest team. So we weren't quite sure what we would see from all of these young, talented players. This game tonight ends up becoming the defining moment for this young generation because we've seen some flashes. They play at big clubs. We talk about their talent. We talk about their potential. They've performed very well in this tournament so far. We had that big tie against England on Black Friday, one of the best teams in the world. And I would say we were the better team in that game. We didn't win, which means that now this game tonight is a must-win game for this U.S. team to advance to the next round. And if everything is true that we believe about this team, then they're going to have to go and beat this Iranian team that will be charged up and ready to go. They only need a tie, so you're going to see them playing a lot of defense. And this U.S. team that has only scored one goal so far this tournament have to find a way through and win this game to get to the next round, which we all hope and expect here in Doha. And we've seen how tough this Iranian team is. So how can the U.S., you know, actually compete against them and handle them? <laughs> yeah, well, they uh, got beat 6-2 in their first game by England. And everybody was saying, wow, I mean, they're done. They have no chance. They turned that around in their second game. They beat Wales, which has put them in this position to advance. They're a tough team. They only conceded four goals against them in their whole qualifying campaign to get here to the World Cup. So it's not an easy feat for the United States to win tonight. I expect the first part of the game to be tough. Lots of fouls, very physical, a big battle. And these young players are really going to have to step up and show that they can handle that type of game. And then in the second half, we need some creativity. We need a goal score. It's been the biggest question for this team is who's going to put the ball in the back of the net when those chances come. I hope we see somebody emerge tonight. There's been a lot of rumors about who's going to play there. Maybe this guy, Jesus Ferreira, who plays for Dallas. So he's playing in Texas as well. And maybe he can be the difference maker, get that goal, get the United States to the next round, and then we see how far this team can go. Stu, you made me excited, and I don't have any idea of what's happening on the pitch. Hey, I'm going to tell Mama Holden, who's watching, to cover her ears. If you were in town, where would you be having yourself a beer and watching this matchup? Oh, come on. My former teammate, Brian Ching, has been hosting the watch party at Pitch 10 25 in Edo. So if you're in Houston, you want a soccer atmosphere, he's going to love that I'm plugging this for him. But get over there. My mom and actually my brother and sister all went to watch the game there, the United States versus England, and they said the atmosphere was incredible. We know Houston is a soccer city. It is exploding. Dynamo, hopefully they have a comeback year this year. But tonight, U.S. Iran, the U.S. are going to get the job done. You heard it here. Not first, but you heard it here, and uh, we're rooting on the Americans tonight. And I believe you, too, because they said England was going to beat the pants off of us, and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Or else, too, Holton, thanks so much. Yeah.